Hey there, language lovers. Are you ready to take your English to the next level? Well, today we're going to unlock the fascinating world of idioms. If you're not familiar with them, idioms are like secret codes that add a little flair or mystery to the language. They're expressions that have a figurative or metaphorical meaning that's different from the literal meaning. Don't worry if you're feeling a little bit lost, I've got you covered. In this video, we're gonna break down 10 of the most popular English idioms that you should know in order to impress your friends, colleagues, and even other native speakers. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of the English language? Let's get started. So our first idiom is raining cats and dogs. This means that it's raining really hard or really heavily outside. It's often used to describe maybe a bad storm. Um, but don't worry, you won't actually see cats and dogs falling from the sky. So just think about it. On a rainy day, you might have someone that comes in from outside who says, oh my gosh, you need to grab an umbrella or just don't go out there because it is raining cats and dogs out there. Idiom number two, break a leg. This might sound like a strange thing to say, and maybe you've heard me mention this in another video, but it's actually a way to wish someone good luck, especially someone that is in a performance or a competition. It is believed that this phrase came from taking a bow or a curtsy after a successful performance, which involves bending your leg. For example, if you have a friend or family member that's in a play, you might say, break a leg to wish them luck. Our third idiom is piece of cake. This means that something is very easy to do, just like cutting a piece of cake. So if someone tells you a task is a piece of cake, it means that it's very easy. For example, maybe you're really good at working on cars. Me, not so much, but maybe you are. <laughs> And let's say I bring my car in to get it fixed, like I recently had to do, and you say, oh yeah, I can fix that. It's a piece of cake. Number four, our next idiom is barking up the wrong tree. This means that you're looking in the wrong place or accusing someone of something that they didn't do. This comes from the idea of hunting dogs going and barking up a tree where there is no prey. So a good example of this might be when your kid comes and asks you for money and they keep saying, please, 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 I want to get that toy, please, please, please. And you say, sweetie, you're barking up the wrong tree. Go ask your dad. <laughs> totally never happened, right? <laughs> Our fifth idiom is the ball is in your court. This means that it's someone else's turn to take action or make a decision. It is often used when there is a negotiation or problem that needs to be solved. For example, maybe you're a salesman and you have pitched yourself to a potential buyer, you have a coworker that comes up and says, okay, well, what's next? What's, what's the next step? And you say, well, I've already done my pitch. The ball is in her court now. Number six, our next idiom is kill two birds with one stone. This means to do two things at once, like throwing a stone and killing two birds at the same time. So if you're able to complete two tasks at one time, then you're killing two birds with one stone. Imagine this, imagine that you have to drive to go pick up your mother-in-law, but your boss also wants you to listen to some audio that he has recorded for a big project that you have coming up. You need to do both things at the same time. So maybe you decide that you will listen to the audio on the drive up to pick up your mother-in-law. If you do this, then you are killing two birds with one stone. And you could say that, I'm going to do both things and kill two birds with one stone. Number seven, hit the nail on the head. So our next idiom is hit the nail on the head. This means to say or do something that's exactly right. It comes from the idea of hitting an actual nail on the head is the accuracy thing. For example, imagine this. Maybe you and your coworkers are talking about the new boss and 
you say something like, he keeps giving us all this work because he doesn't want to do it. And one of your coworkers might say to you, you really hit the nail on the head with that one, meaning that what you said was absolutely true. Number eight, cost an arm and a leg. Our next idiom is cost an arm and a leg. This means that something is very expensive. The origins of this idiom are unclear, but it's thought to have originated back in the 1940s when soldiers were coming back from the war and the cost of health care had risen dramatically. Speaking of medical costs, you might say going to the hospital in America costs an arm and a leg, meaning that it's very expensive to go to the hospital or to be sick in America. <laughs> And unfortunately, that is very true. Number nine, our ninth idiom is let the cat out of the bag. This means to reveal a secret or something that was supposed to be hidden. The origins of this one are also unclear, but it's said to be traced back to a time when merchants were selling pigs in a bag. And instead of putting an actual pig in the bag, they put a cat in the bag and they would trick the person that was buying it. Once the person that bought the pig in the bag opened the bag and saw that there was no pig, that it was actually a cat, then they found out that it wasn't true, right? But they let the cat out of the bag and someone switched the pig for the cat. Yeah. So imagine this to relate this to something now. Imagine that you are out to dinner with your friends and one of them says, what are you going to wear to your party next weekend? And you're in shock. So you don't say anything because you don't know about any kind of party. And your other friend says, oh, it was supposed to be a surprise. You really let the cat out of the bag, meaning that, uh oh, your other friend let it slip that they had planned a surprise party for you. Number 10, the early bird catches the worm. Our last idiom is the early bird catches the worm. This means that if you start something early, you'll have more success with it. The origin of this idiom comes from birds going out earlier. The ones that get up earlier and go out to search for worms are the ones that actually find the most worms or have the best chance of finding a worm. So imagine this. Imagine that you wake up feeling really energized and productive and you want to get a jump start on your day. So you get up, get yourself together, go outside with your morning cup of coffee and see your neighbor standing outside. Your neighbor asks you, what are you doing up this early? You're never up this early. And you say, well, you know, I want to get a jump start on my day. And so he says, well, you know what they say, the early bird catches the worm. So there you have it the top 10 English idioms that you should know. Understanding idioms can be a fun way for you to learn the English language and connect with other English speakers. Let me know in the comments if there's any other idiom that you prefer or if, I, if there's any that I left off that you would have liked included. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. See you next time.